Hey guys, this is Pizzino. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy. I just waited for it to be nighttime just for the purpose of heading off to the Mountains of Blood so that we can get to the other side to visit that triangle in the wall. <laughs> That's all I'm going to call it for now. Triangle in the wall. Uh, last episode... You may have heard me say it was a lava pyramid, or that there was a lava pyramid in the map. Um, the person who I heard that from had seen the version 1 of the map, in which there was a giant lava pyramid, like, right on the other side of the starting island. That's not there anymore, so we don't have to worry about a lava pyramid. But, it would make great reason for the lava pyramid to be inside of a triangle. I don't know. That's just what I thought. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go the same way through the Mountains of Blood, just in case there may be something we missed. Like another fishing shack or something. I don't know. But we, I do know I don't want to go down there, so... Um, I was going to say something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me kill this guy first. I am ready to set up a base somewhere. I have a bunch of stuff for that. Because I know this place is quite a long trek from the jukebox monument. So. I'm trying to keep it nice and lit for you guys. It's kind of hard. It's not too hard. So there's some fire over there. That's probably where gas shot while I was up at the top, and they hit that place. And it's all netherrack, so the fire will never go out. Ow. Sprint, why do you fail me? Put a torch down here. I meant to jump over there, and instead I jumped down. I hear fire. But... No worries, this is mountains of blood, if anything, the fire should not scare me as much as that these mountains are made of flesh and gore. Um, Alright, so I've met up with the other path I've already been to. Wonderful. So we'll follow it for a while. I wonder if any of these redstone torches actually, like, signify anything. I mean, you'd think if there was anything hidden that it'd be a little lit up, but there are all of these redstone torches around. They're probably also there for ambient lighting. Um, but that's also how you'd... how it would be a good way, I guess, of telling the player, hey, there's something here. Like down there. I see a glow, but I think that may be a redstone torch, so I'm not going to bother with it. Alright, let's go ahead and go back down this hole after it gets dark again. Oh, that's where we found that chest. It's not where we want to go, it was this direction and then up. That's right. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it was right here. Ow. And then I just pillar up right here anyway, so. Yeah, that's probably what this giant red wool thing is for. Or maybe not. Could make a staircase anyway. Alright, yes. We're over on the other side. There's our old house. I think I grabbed everything out of it, though, so. Nothing there. Um, yes, I can make this jump. Or not jump, but I can dig this out. Good enough. Alright, and it'll get dark again. Just run this way instead. Just kinda running and jumping. Oh, things. Oh, okay, now there's a giant hole. Gotta watch out for that. jump into that. Alright. Let's go ahead and build up here. 
to get some altitude that way we can see around us. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think these mountains are just really big. That's all. Oh. Is that, that looks lighter than normal. I keep saying that. Oh, look at that. This guy's going to come down on me. Oop, or I'm just going to fall and not care. Oh! Yes! Another wart. That's... Actually, I don't need most of this. I need this, this, this would be nice. The rest I can just basically farm or make. So... Nether wart was one of the things I have been missing to make potions. I've have I have the glass for bottles. I have the water. I have a lot of the ingredients. It was just the nether wart. So that's a great find. I'm gonna head over to this patch of light. I, it for some reason looks lighter than normal, but it didn't. <laughs> um, what's over here on the edge? I wonder if. Anything over here as well. Oop. Failed jump. There's anything over here. It might have been a good idea to go around the entire place lighting it up first. Oh well. Oh, I hear. Yeah, I was going to say, I hear somebody's footsteps. That's not the three button. And I brought jack lanterns. I brought plenty of food. <laughs> Eat that and put some jack lanterns down. Jack lanterns are one light level brighter than torches. So, really, they are better light than torches. Oh. My natural instinct every time I get lag is to hold down shift, just in case I lag into a hole. I do that on multiplayer too. <laughs> it's a nice habit though. Alright. I honestly can't even tell what, where we are. <laughs> but I do have a feeling that that spider is, oh, that there are spider spawners over here. I should probably cover up these holes. And pumpkins. Alright, I think this is it. I don't know, I can't see. Oh, don't want that. Light this up. Yep, now there's a giant hole there. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and pillar up here so we can see where we're at. I think we're on the back side. Yeah, I can't see yet. And of course this redstone torch is giving off light, so I'm not going to mess with it. I hear skeletons. Um, I... There's like nothing. Maybe I'm not high enough yet. I see them right there. Good enough for now. More light. The skeleton, I'm afraid, is going to shoot me. Ah, yes, see up there in top right. That's where we need to go. Oops. So we have quite a ways to go. So let me go ahead and just make a nice stairway up, or pillar up, and I'll meet with you when I get there. Oh, look, there's the skeleton. Buddy, die. Yes. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're at a point at which I would say it'd, it'd be a good idea to start bridging. I have a feeling if I get too close to up there, things are going to start spawning. So I'm just going to go ahead and bridge out from here. Um, I'm just going to leave it dark for now. I'm probably going to make a house once I hit the bedrock wall over here put down a bed and everything. Let's see, um, 
snow. I brought like everything. All the little bits of blocks that I'm never going to use. Well, if I run out of blocks here, I don't know what to make my house out of. Maybe it'll just be a little pad to sleep and everything. A chest or two. Oh, I hear lava. Alright, well that was a perfect amount of blocks. Um, would work, I guess. I got plenty of logs. Let's go ahead and let's put a pumpkin down right here. Just the little pad so I can uh, have a chest and a workbench. Put all the stuff in, that way I don't have to take it all at once. Half of those. It's mm, kind of mixing and matching right now. I should probably make another sword. This one is almost out. I'll just bring this one. Bones bring like only a little bit of the food. The bed I have to place. That stuff is really important. Don't want to lose that. I oh, will just keep that in there for now. All right, and a lot of the arrows. Alright, that looks good. Let's put down the bed, hopefully... Oh, it already is daytime. <laughs> I expected to get here before daytime came, but I guess not. So, um... Go ahead and put that there. So, hmm, we need to get way up there. Uh, I don't want to go up there with... Alright, you know what? I'm going to go back here. Oh, look, there's a skeleton on our bridge. And dig up a bunch of netherrack. And also wait for nighttime. And then when nighttime hits, I'll come back. I'll sleep. And then we can head on up to the triangle in the wall. I'd like to point out that I think all this fire is from the wool burning and then the netherrack stays lit because that's what it does so now we're left with a giant wall of flames it's pretty neat all right so it's getting night time here i'm gonna go ahead and make an extra pick just in case this one breaks since i spent several picks mining out all this another rack there we go and we're gonna leave most of it in here Um, since it's, like, directly above us, say if we do this, make a diagonal pillar up with lights somehow, let's do this like this. Stupid, you can't put pumpkins in the air. They have to have something underneath them. Okay, gas is already, and I'm not even in the area yet. Beautiful. Alright, and then this. We'll go ahead and turn around. Let's put a little platform. Build out a couple blocks, and then go straight back to the wall. And this doesn't look like we're gonna make it either. Oh, and I hear magma creams. Alright, I think we'll just go right past. One block. <laughs> One block too high. Let's go and do that, I guess. There. Alright, and we are up. What does this say? Bad dreams. Let's just get in here first. How's your something? That's right, fall. How's your dreams? Ever dream the nether? It's hard to say. Mobs coexisted with surface mobs? Yay, me too. I never did. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, the only thing different from the nether and this is that mobs can spawn crazy fast. So it's like super hard mode. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And the lighting is 
And we have, I guess, normal mobs too, but those guys aren't a problem. Um, I guess we just have to traverse this place. I don't... There's... It looks like just a section of the nether taken from the nether. And put in the real world, but putting spawners everywhere. Which is probably something very similar to what the guy did. Nope. Skeleton. Ha. Ah. Oh, there's a zombie right here, and I'm just pushing against him. Alright, I'm hungry. Let's go and make some food. Oh, that's a blaze. I'm gonna die. I didn't even s sleep, did I? <laughs> Whoops. Alright, well then I'll be right back. Hopefully in time to sleep. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Ugh made it. It's just about to turn daytime, too. Alright, so, first things first. Food. And then we'll just run back in there and try to get my stuff. I don't know how possible that's gonna be. Let me regen some health first. We'll probably do that on our way up. <laughs> How convenient. Um, yeah, so, probably should have remembered to set my spawn. Whoa, that could have been bad. And to make a better staircase here. Um, but yeah, I just forgot to look at my food level. And then I was like, oh crap. Gotta go make food. And then right when I did, a blaze happened to spawn. It's like stupid. Oh, there's a spider. <laughs> Happened to grab my sword in the ninth slot. Oh, this guy still isn't gone. Let's at least grab... At least grab our stuff and head in a different direction. There we go. And we'll just take a safety right underneath this platform. As we go ahead and... Reestablish ourselves here. Sword. I'm about to break. Let's go and merge them together. I don't know why I have the flint and steel on me. Alright, I didn't get everything back, but I got quite a bit. And now there's going to be a bunch of stuff on top of me. Oh, yeah. Speaking of on top of me, it's right there. Thank you for giving me a magma cream. Alright, I think now we are ready. If these guys would stop jumping on me. Thank you. We're ready to go back. After we get the pumpkins on the bar. I don't know if we should head towards the center or the very outside. Hey, destroy the sign. How dare he. Uh, but I think we're going to go right around the edge. Seems like the best way to deal with this. There's a blaze spawner somewhere around here, so I'll light that up. Oh, that's far. If that gas blew up my pumpkin... Oh, how dare he. That is a long way away. Maybe... You know, I should probably bring a bucket of water. Buckets aren't that... like... Oh, god dang it got in my way. Oh, he dropped a sword and some gold. Oh, well, I guess that's another way to get gold. If you fail at getting the gold up in the... the uh, oh, God, that guy's angry. And we've got blazes, and I'm dead. There's no way I could possibly survive this. Ah, run. I made it. Um... Yeah, I could just farm zombie pigmen, I guess. Okay, we are heading down under here. This is our safe area. Oh, unless things can get down here. It's not so safe then, is it? And now our path is gone. <laughs> uh, hey, I didn't get poisoned. Cool. Let's go. Actually, I can... Whoa. 
slime fall down here or something? Oh, yep, there they go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make this, since we're going to be coming back to here a lot for safety, might as well extend it a little bit. And now that there's a... Well, now that the glowstone is destroyed, it's kind of easier. Right, let's destroy this. Make a, a light. Um... Oh, it's not enchanted. Darn. But yeah, I could, uh... Oh. Up, and there we go. A lot of that just fell off the edge. Eh. Half of my armor. It was already mostly gone anyway. Um... I could farm zombie pigmen for gold. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. There may be a specific, like place where I'm supposed to get gold, so I'm going to wait until I know for sure. That's right, buddy. Um, that's right, I'm just going to make some armor. Missing my pants and my boots. And I think by standing here, I'm spawning bl er, blazes. Yes, the new mob called the Blaz, mixed between a blaze and a ghast. Even though, I don't know where the Oz part came from. <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna go one more try. I probably should have brought mushrooms, so... Well. Uh, we're gonna do one more run through. See how far we can get. And then we'll end the episode for today. And next time, I'll be sure to bring... A bucket of water. Because I think this place could get pretty easily... Um taken over with just a bucket of water. I'm trying to find that blaze spawn. Alright, see if trapping out these guys will help me do any good. Could head down this little cave. Oh, well that's most certainly death. Oh yeah, that goes like straight down. reach. There we go. Um, yeah. Oh. There's a gas tank. Yeah, and I'm a bone arrow, so... It's gonna blow up my pumpkin. Yeah, and I'll have to go get more light as well. Probably torches. I enjoy torches more than, like, glowstone or pumpkin for lighting. Ah, I missed. Um, just because they, you can't get in the way of them, I guess. You could speed put them down. Oh, God. Alright, well, there's that. And the creeper blew up right next to me. So my stuff was basically gone. Um. 13 leather. I'm almost out of armor. I think I have, like, 16 pieces or 8 left in my... Left at home, so... I'm gonna go ahead and head back. Oh yeah, this is where I dug out all that netherrack. Quite a, quite a hole. That wall of fire is ever expanding. Die creeper. I'm just gonna head back, get stuff, and next time we can charge onto the area with a water bucket, which should be a lot helpful. A lot helpful. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like. Um, I found something here. Oh my. Well, I'm taking this back as well. I got a friggin' iron sword now. Die. There's stairs here. Oop. Aww. <laughs> well, so much for that stuff. Now I gotta walk all the way back. That's no fair. All those stairs just led into a hole. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. There's like a golden apple. I have a billion of those. Iron stuff. Eh. Stone stuff is just as good, I think. Hey, die. Thank you. Um, and then I had food, but I can always make food. Um, yeah. Anyway, where was I? Don't forget to leave a like or comment. And subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I think that's all we have for this episode. So until next time, 
This has been Pizzino. I'll see you guys later.